Hey everybody, it's Makeup Mina Re. Welcome back to my channel. So I have already done my eyebrows. I used the Ardell Dip Brow. If you wanna see a tutorial on that, I will link that in the eye for you. Anyway, now we are gonna go ahead and prime your eyelids. I'm using the Kat Von D uh, concealer. This stuff's a little drying, which works perfect because I have greasy ass eyelids and it sucks all that moisture up. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and set my eyelids with the color WOS in the same palette. Um, the reason you set your eyelids is it stops the creasing and it just makes it a smooth, easy surface for your eyeshadow to lay on. Okay, so now with this Morphe M433, I'm gonna go in with this darker color Faint in the same palette and focus this mostly in the crease. Um, I don't wanna take it up too high because we're gonna blend it up towards eyebrows. So yeah, just focus it more in the crease. So one of the ways I love to lay eyeshadow is sort of tap it in that outer corner and this drag it across your eyelid towards your nose. Um, it just gives a really, really pretty blend that way. Okay, so I'm just adding more layers on there, just getting it to the darkness that I like. Um, browns are a little more forgiving than black. Uh, you will see when I go to use the black that you have to be very, very careful not to put too much on at once or you will look like a fucking raccoon. And that is not cute. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the color Crave. It's the black color in the same palette. Tapping that on the outer corner and just slowly dragging that across. I'm gonna build it slowly because like I said, black can get out of control very quickly and there's nothing you can do about black. You just have to wipe it off and start over. So tapping it on the outer corner, dragging it over slowly and I am sort of keeping that right below that brown that I already laid. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go in with the clean brush and diffuse the edges because that black can look a little harsh. And you can see I'm just sort of giving it little sweeping motions to help diffuse that. You can also do little circular motions. That also helps to diffuse eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm just going in with some more black just to darken that up in the crease. And next I'm gonna go ahead and do sort of like a mini cut crease. I'm using the same concealer, the Kat Von D, and a small little flat brush. And you can see I'm just gonna go ahead and drag that over. Okay, so I'm doing this because I'm gonna lay a lighter color there and I want it to be able to show up and be bright. And I'm also pulling this up a little bit above my natural crease. I have the tiniest little eyelids and I also have a little bit of a hooded eye. So a tip for you guys, if you have those issues that I do, make yourself a new eyelid crease. Just pull it up as far as you want. Sorry, my child was in there laughing at me. Anyway, I'm going in with this Coastal palette. Um, it has some really pretty silvers in there and I'm gonna lay that silver with that same flat brush that I just used on my eyelid where I just placed that concealer. Okay, so I went to go darken up that outer corner and decided that I wanted to drag that over a little bit further. I just looked like, I don't know, it just didn't look right. So I'm just adding more of that concealer so that I can drag that silver over just a little bit more. Okay, so there I am just adding that silver back on there to the area that I dragged over. And then I'm gonna go ahead back with that black color Crave in the outer corner and just darken that up. Okay. 
Okay, and so because I darkened that outer corner up, now I just need to drag that across because it was just a little too light there for me. Okay, so here is what it looks like so far. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side um, and just let you guys watch what I'm doing. Uh, I swear here through the, most of this tutorial, I was like, what the hell is going on? I love doing smoky eyes, but they look a hot fucking mess until almost the end. So hang in there, it will get better, but you will look crazy for most of the you know time you're doing those. Okay, so I just laid down the brown and now I'm laying black over the top of it. Just remember to be careful with the black. I swear you will ruin your entire life if you put too much black on at once. So now I'm just going in with that same concealer and doing another cut crease the same way I did on the other eye. See, still concerned that this looks crazy. Next, I'm just cleaning up the fallout and sort of giving myself a cleaner line with a makeup wipe. And I'm gonna go in with the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. It's just, you know, like a highlighting cream. Um, the foundation I'm gonna be using is super drying. So this just gives a little bit of a glow as you can see on your skin under the foundation. Okay, so now I'm going in with the Maybelline 24 Hour Wear. I love that damn foundation. It's amazing. As you can see, it look, it covered up all that foolishness that I know y'all been looking at the entire video. Thank you so much. But anyway, I'm using one of those brushes that I talked about in my holiday gift idea. I will link that up in the eye for you guys if you wanna see those. And look at that. Now she got perfect, beautiful skin. Um, now I'm gonna use the Kat Von D um, concealer, the same concealer that I used on my eyes and for my highlighting forehead, you know, chin, under the eyes, and I'm just gonna blend that out with a beauty blender. Okay, with the smaller brush, I'm gonna go in with the color Faint on the lower lash line. I'm just gonna drag that around. And then I'm also gonna go on top of that with the color Crave, the same two colors I used on my eyelid. I'm gonna use it on my lower lash line. Okay, with a little bit of a fluffier brush, I'm just diffusing that and blending it out a little bit. Oh my God! I told you black will ruin your life. I should have just left it alone. Okay, so this is what we're working with so far for the eyes. Now I'm gonna go in with my contour with this Milani. It's actually like a foundation, but it works perfect for a contour for me because I'm hella pasty. Anyway, I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild highlighter. Um, it's super gorgeous. It's got like pink and gold flecks in it and it just looks gorgeous on all skin. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight with that. Back in with my contour on my cheeks. I do have a contouring video if you guys want to check that out. Of course, I will link it in the eye for you guys. 
and yeah just a little bit under my lip it just makes my lip look a little poutier and now I'm gonna go in with this little elf uh, blush palette and I'm gonna make I'm just gonna blend them all together <laughs> and yeah I'm gonna put that blush on and blend that in with my contour Okay, so I'm going in with this e.l.f. ink eyeliner. I'm just gonna do the tiniest of liners. This you don't have to do, but I like to do it because I wear falsies because I'm bald headed and I don't have no lashes. And this just helps hide the lash band just a little bit. If that silver wasn't so bright, I wouldn't even do this, but you know, we trying to hide stuff. So we gonna put that little line there. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Cocoa Lashes in the Style Goddess. As you can see, they are amazing. Now, the Anastasia Amrezi Highlighter for the center of my eyes. Just to brighten it up a little bit there. It looked a little blah. And now the Ardell Red Lip in the color. Shit, what color is that? I'll link it in the description box below, but I love this color. Okay, everybody, so here is the finished look. I was hella nervous until the very end, but I think it came together pretty well. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Also, make sure to hit the notification bell. Check me out on other social medias at Makeup Beanery, and I will see you guys next time.